Imagine you're inside our system. Imagine you could take a journey inside NAS. Where am I? How do you do? I'm Fletcher. I have a complete working knowledge of virtually everything. You're Peter Miller, and you don't believe NAS actually works. That's right. But where am I? You're inside a deck station 5000, one of the fastest risk Unix workstations. Your engineering department uses them with NAS. NAS? I can't see it. If you'll allow me to rotate you 180 degrees. What's happening there? Application development using NAS products. Where's the NAS then? The programmer has used all industry standard interfaces. OSF1, Motif, and TCP IP. And that's what NAS is, a set of products based, based on, on industry, industry standard, standard interfaces. interfaces. What's happening now? SQL, the structured query language is being added. This application will request data from one of your databases that support SQL. Now, look at the screen. That's some screen. Someone just started up an application. Those are data requests. Red for VAX, yellow for a PC, blue for IBM. They are updating an engineering manual for your customers. This is unbelievable. Please accelerate. We're going to follow those data requests. Then I can show you NAS at work. We're leaving the deck station 5000 now. It's only a short ride to the network. This is Ethernet, the backbone of the corporate network. What are all these? Data from different sources all over the company, but packaged the same way. That one's headed down to one of the PC networks. I predict we'll meet it on the way back later. And that one goes to the VAX cluster running VMS. To get to your IBM systems, we're going to cross FDDI, a high-speed fiber optic network they've just installed. This section has a considerable volume of traffic. They wanted more capacity. Hold on to your seat, Peter. Actually, you are experiencing a data rate of 100 megabits per second. That increase in network speed copes with the heaviest traffic. We're back in the Ethernet now, close to the IBM system. That's the token ring connection up ahead. A key element of NAS, Peter, is the OSI model. It allows you to use whatever physical connections or networking style you like. Ethernet, FDDI, or token ring. Hey, this feels different. Yes, it operates differently from Ethernet. to the IBM? No. We'll get there eventually. Here we are, your IBM system. What's that? That's MVS down there. It often has that effect on people. And that? OSI connections. Where's the data request gone? Above you. Follow me, please. It's headed for the SQL service routines that allow it to access the data stored on your IBM system. But how does it actually get the data it wants? The SQL device. Watch. The open slots on the end of the data request are a set of calling standards. They match another set in the SQL service routines. See how perfectly they fit? It now needs to get the right address of the data and position the request to get the text it wants using another set of calling standards. Now it has the text needed to go with those graphics back at the Unix workstation. But how can it do that? This is all SQL here. 
Correct. With NAS, SQL is a service that is requested. In fact, that's how all NAS services work. They are actual code, like toolkits and runtime libraries, that your programmers use to develop applications. We need to return with that data request now, Peter. Surely application's portability is still important. Yes, but rewriting everything to make it portable could mean spending, as you would say, a fortune. In most cases, enabling applications to use each other's data is just as important as portability. Well, theory makes sense. No, Peter. This is not theory. This is reality. Look, there's the PC data on the way back. And here's the VMS data. Here we are, back where we started. Please pay careful attention. Observe the VMS data heading into the application. That's fantastic. Impressive. Look, there goes the PC data. And here comes the IBM text. That's incredible. That is compound document architecture. It's unique to NAS. It supports multiple data formats. It allows one to take data from different sources and merge them in one document. Okay, so I'm impressed. What happens when something new turns up? I'll show you. That is the future. None of us knows what's out there. NAS is not a static technology, Peter. It will continue to evolve integrating existing standards, incorporating de facto standards, and where standards don't exist, digital will lead their development, just as with Ethernet, X-Windows, and POSIX. That means, when we find the future, or it finds us, we can handle it. <laughs>